Hey everyone, this is my latest poem. It's called Hornworm Love. She is five centimeters, skinny and slender. She surveys the town, looking around. He quietly approaches. Within her, unknown flurry of feelings explode. New feelings, flustered, flutter, flighty excitement, a rush coursing through her tiny veins in the moment. They spend long hours under young leafy towers, sitting next to each other, observing one another below the dappled light, eating and critiquing each new leaf bite, talking for hours on end without a care for what's around the bend, hanging upside down, competing for the farthest reaches, love through patience he teaches, patiently guiding her through emotional outbreaks, patiently tending to her wounds from great speaks, patiently giving his all. The world's so big, yet she is so small. Her light, transparent, green, segmented skin could only perceive negative, mean things. Growing ambitious, she cruelly pushes him away. He quietly departs, never returning to play. She is a couple centimeters longer. Her jade-colored skin grows thicker, confident in her abilities and feels deep stability. Jealous of the birds, she yearns for flight. Stem smart, she knows to puff up and fight, but also into it went to hide. Their heads collide. He sniffs atop the jalapeno stem and slips. She blindly meanders at an old curled leaf tip. He reminds her of herself, not so long ago. His plant wilts with a sickly yellow, and she remembers her drying cilantro hood hollow. Despite his situation, he is happy and carefree. His mantra is, come what may, all have me. Tender, soft, warm love. She wants to be his cove. She holds him tightly in her stubby arms to protect him from all the worldly harms. Love through caring, she teaches. Keeping him away from the dangerous hedges, she shows him her shoddy but special cilantro hood, showers him with as much attention as she could. In her, inserting herself into his circle of friends. During fights, she readily yields to make amends. The world is so big, yet he is so small. He wants freedom and to grow tall. He tries gently to push her away, and she revolts and attempts to stay. But the sharp, piercing pain is too much. Even her thick skin is still sensitive to touch. They part ways. Her tears pour for days. She's almost 12 centimeters. Her deep green skin she wears shows tears. Suddenly a heavy deluge washes her away violently. Curled up in safety, she plunges into the abyss and thought, if I die now, what would I miss? She hazily awakens, lost in fear. Gentle whisper, hey, hey, over here. She hears a voice in the deep dark night. Can she even fight? She knows not where to go, indecisive, paralyzed. Trying not to overanalyze, she limps, wobbles towards this place, relieved to find a friendly face. He becomes her guard and tends to her wounds. They grow closer, even talking about sharing a cocoon. She heals beneath these large basil leaves, but the smell is overwhelming, she peeves. She reminisces the tickling hairs on the tomato stems, her family and friends. She misses them. He likes the soft, pliable leaves and fragrant, sweet scent, but he understands her warmy sentiment. Love through obligation, she learns, to push away her needs in turn. She stays and accommodates. She mentally reiterates, he's a good mate. The world's so small and he is so big, she contemplates. She need not any more twigs. Feeling guilty for her feelings of fealty and sensing her unease doing her duties, he slips away quietly into hiding with another lover he is confiding. She, abandoned, betrayed, left the home she made. Journeyed across the treacherous planter, back to comfortable places and familiar faces holding her missing banner. She is 15 centimeters, 
bulky and fully mature, but is self-conscious of her wrinkles, old injuries ache and scars crinkle. No longer the sprightly five centimeter, the youthful lanky looker, strength and endurance gained, but would rather shed the pain. Desiring a steady partner yet full of hesitation, she deters. He sees her nibbling that top branch, bumps into her, oh, sorry, miss, accident. Apprehensive, she dismisses his advances, but they keep on having these happening chances. The neighbors say he's a cool dude. Her friends relay, we like his attitude. But the chronic pains and the old scars keep pulsing through every millimeter of her body, and she keeps mulling. She asks him to go steady and wait. He, without hesitation, confidently, I'll be your mate. She finds a shady crevice to spin a quick cocoon. She needs time to meditate and heal her old wounds. Here, without distractions of the world, she sees with clarity, learning from her mistakes and naivety, taking lessons from past hornworms, analyzing and reliving ancient turbulent storms, forgiving her past selves, her lover's past selves, for giving love the way they were held, seeing the brilliant earth in relations to the universes, she emerges. She is ready to give him her love, but he's gone, they say. He went above. She crawls to the topmost leaf, but she feels strange and in disbelief. Her body has changed. It no longer feels like a cane. She has thick shell-like skin and on her back there are these flap thins. What, and what are these things, wings? All her scars are gone, but her heartache weighs a ton, and maybe she looks too different, and he is too impatient. Rejected, she slowly fluttered away. Couldn't he even wait for a day? Was it a day? Zoom. He circles her and exclaims, hey. He teases, you were in there forever. Tired of waiting, he smuggled his cocoon next to her. After emerging, he waited for a couple of days. Blushed, embarrassed, she flies away. He chases after her, don't worry, I'll always wait. Love by understanding, she melts through his embrace. The world is so big and they are so small and together they'll be each other's all. Thank you for listening.